in this segment, I'm going to continue on with the rectangular marquee tool and show you a few, a few other options uh, that uh, come with that tool. So uh, once again, if you notice, I had the, uh, the header of this uh, door selected, so I'm going to uh, deselect it. So again, uh, because I have the, in the options bar, I have the new selection uh, button selected. If I click on the document, it will automatically deselect it because it wants to create a new selection. Uh, and uh, again, the quick key to deselect everything on an image is Control D. So I'm just going to press Control D, and that ensures that everything has been deselected in my document. Now, to just show a few things about the rectangular marquee tool and how to make some other uh, use of some of the other options, I'm going to maybe try and select these windows, uh, they're all about the same size, same shape. So there's, uh, we could change the style of the marquee uh, selection tool to allow us to make some good selections. So once again, uh, if I'm going to be making selections of these windows, uh, they look pretty small here, so I need to zoom in. So I'm going to press Control Space Bar, so I don't have to deselect the marquee selection tool. Click and drag around the windows, so I have a good view of my uh, the area that I do want to to select. Now, uh, if you notice in the options bar, I have the selection, marquee selection tool selected. <coughs> and under this style, there's a drop down uh, menu there, a drop down arrow. And there are a couple options here available for us there's a fixed size and a fixed ratio. The fixed ratio allows you to make uh, selections based on a certain ratio. So, for example, you might have some photographs that, are, that you want to uh, select. Uh, that are going to be 5 by 7. So you could set a ratio of uh, a width of 5 and a height of 7, or maybe 8 by 10. So you could set the width, a ratio width of 8 by 10, depending on what you want. And so then anytime you do make a selection, it'll be in that ratio of the of the uh, selection. Uh, the reason why you may want to use a ratio is uh, because different images have different uh, resolutions and uh, number of pixels per inch and so even though they may look the same on a document uh, their physical size could be different uh, because the number of pixels and the resolution for that. So fixed ratio will ensure that you do have this approximately the same uh, size shape uh, of those rectangles. The fixed size is a very specific size so if you want something that's going to be 100 pixels by 100 pixels you could set the fixed size and set the width or height to that. This would be very good for web pages where you want to have a certain width. For example, you might have a, a image uh, going into a certain part of the web page and it needs to be a certain size. So you could fix the size uh, so that the selection will always be that size so that when you do put it in the web page, uh, you don't have to worry about it increasing or decreasing. Uh, and uh, even based on the resolution, uh, it'll always be that fixed size. So I'm going to start off using a uh, fixed ratio and click that button. Now to see how this ratio, I'm not sure exactly what this is going to be, uh, and by default you can see it, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if I click and drag, you can see it's a perfect square uh, with this selection. So I'm going to just click again and if you notice on the window, one to one, I can't get it to fit here because it's exactly one to one ratio. So I may not be able to use a fixed ratio here that is one to one. Uh, so just a couple things that I might be able to do here. I'm going to go to Window and Info. And that'll just give me some idea as to uh, the coordinates, the width and height of this document as I as I go along. So I'm going to just press Control D to deselect. And I'm going to change this back to normal, and then make a selection. And just as a trick here, if you notice, I moved uh, my, and I start my selection a little bit too far to the left. So if I hold the space bar while I'm making my selection, and my mouse button is still down on the on the mouse uh, as I'm drawing the selection. If I press the space bar, that allow me to move my selection without uh, it changing shape. And so then I re could reposition my selection. If I release the mouse button, then I can continue to make my selection as I go along. So that's a neat little trick. Uh, now if I just look over in the info palette there, you can see the width is point uh, it's 0.88 and the height is 
1.04. So I'm going to just set those as ratios. Uh, so I'm going to click my fixed ratio and make that 0.88 and 1.04. So I'm just typing those values in. And now if I want to create a new selection, it's going to be that ratio. So if you notice here, I clicked. It's always going to be the same ratio. Uh, for that selection. So if you have a lot of items that are going to be basically the same size and things like that, it's good to set a ratio uh, and that just allows you to uh, quickly make selections without having to, to click and drag. Now to, again, just as before, I could add to my selection. So to add to selection, I could click the add to selection button or I can just hold the shift key and then click and drag and to reposition, I'm going to hold the space bar a little bit, move it over and up, release, release the space bar, and then there's my two selections. Again, to add to another selection, I can hold the shift key, click and drag, and to reposition, I go to, while I'm clicking and dragging, holding down the mouse, mouse button, I'm going to hold the space bar to allow me to reposition it a little bit. Let go of the space bar to resize. And so there's another selection. So th that's allowing me to keep the same ratio since these windows are basically the same size. allows me to make that selection. Uh, and I'll do one more here. Hold the shift key, click and drag, and you can see it adds to the selection, uh, keeping the same ratio. Now, if you just notice here, uh, there's uh, also try the uh, fixed size. So to give you an idea, this is the width of this. I'm just going to click and drag here. Right now it's 64 pixels by 64 pixels. And you can see that that's the default and it's not very big. So anytime you click, it'll automatically make it 64 by 64. So I'm just going to go back for a second and click on the normal and then click and drag to see what size this is. And just roughly, it is 0.9, and the height is 104. Now, I, I know that these measurements are in centimeters because by default, Photoshop uh, has set the uh, the width and height of, of this selection to centimeters. So when you are using the uh, the fixed size, uh, you have to set the the size. So by default, uh, the width of this. Um, this selection is 0.9 centimeters and the height is 1.04 centimeters. So because it's a fixed size, all I have to do is click on the, the document and it will automatically create a selection uh, for that fixed size. So if I go to the top corner here and click, you'll see that it automatically set the selection uh, for 0.9 centimeters in width and 1.04 centimeters in height. So again, to add to selection, all I have to do is hold the shift key, click once, and I'll add that selection. Again, hold the shift key, click, and add these selections. So the fixed size is very versatile in allowing you to add uh, selections or take away selections based on a certain size.